on a 18 year old girl who has an adolescent idiopathic scoliosis so this has to be corrected for various reasons if left untreated the deformity will get worse and then her chest cavity also will get smaller in capacity and she will have difficulty in doing strenuous activity and you know in scoliosis uh, uh, deformity is a three-dimensional deformity you know it's just not not just curving to one side but there's as well as a rotational deformity we don't have a very good way to assess the severity of this apical vertebral rotation of uh, scoliotic spine uh, unless we have a three-dimensional image like the CT scan or in this case the CO spin and with that we can actually uh, know how much we correct the deformity and if needed to with the modern instrumentation we can actually uh, further derotate the apical rotation if we find intraoperatively the correction has not to the degree we wanted to have. In order to correct such deformity, we need to put like spinal implants in the form of screws and rods into the bone. And as you know, our spine is complex, got a lot of nerve structure and spinal cord. So we have to place it very meticulously so that those, uh, we don't injure all these important structures right, in, the, in the spine. So I think this your spin is helpful because it can give us a live time and image during the surgery itself even before we close the wound or before the surgery is completed we can check our placement of implants you know so to make sure there's no malplacement of our implants you know during throughout the surgery uh, you can have the luxury of 3D uh anatomical information on of the patient because you are seeing front and side and this one is seeing all around so I will see you have more information and more information the more accurate you are and yet you also can use the same modality for 2D images. It shows us all the three planes AP, lateral and axial view so when we close up the uh, patient or at the end of the surgery we are 100% confident that our screws have nine are in the proper position.